Fill the jug to just above the V formed by the spout for optimal steaming. Position the steam tip over the tray and lift the steam lever or turn the steam dial like this. Allow steam pressure to build to maximum level, priming the system and purging any condensed water from the system. Now, lower the steam lever or turn the steam dial to the upright position. Then, insert the steam wand into the jug directly down the spout line of the jug. With the steam tip slightly below the surface of the milk at about the 3 o'clock position, lift the steam lever or turn the steam dial again. Slowly, lower the jug until the steam tip just breaks the surface of the milk. This creates a whirlpool in the milk and draws in air, adding texture and volume while heating. Continue to just break the surface while maintaining this whirlpool effect. When sufficient texture has been created, raise the jug slightly to submerge the tip, but still maintaining the whirlpool. When the jug is too hot to touch, it's at the right temperature, around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, lower the steam lever or turn the steam dial to the upright position to finish. Once the steam has stopped, remove the wand from the jug and immediately wipe it with a clean, damp cloth. Position the steam tip over the drip tray and lift the steam lever or turn the steam dial again to purge any milk from the tip. Strike the jug down firmly on your countertop to collapse any large bubbles. Then, swirl the jug to integrate the texture before pouring directly into your freshly extracted espresso. Now, all you need to do is practice your latte art. Thank you.